how many orbitals are in the P sublevel? Well, to be completely honest, most chemists have just memorized that it's three. Those orbitals end up being called Px, Py, and Pz because they are little peanut-shaped things that go on the x-axis and then the y-axis and then one coming out at you on the z-axis. Those shapes ring a bell? Sure they do. But if you're looking for the y, then my argument is that a p sublevel corresponds to L equals 1 in terms of quantum numbers. I don't know what n is here necessarily. It's true no matter what n is. Then ML, the magnetic quantum number, can go from negative L, that's negative 1, up to positive L, which is positive 1. So that's negative 1 and 0 and 1. It's each of these that represent an orbital. Maybe that one's Px, and that one's Py, and that one's Pz. But the point is that that is three orbitals, the end. Lastly, if you've been asked how many electrons can be in a P sublevel, the answer is six, because each of these orbitals can hold up to two electrons. That's why the spin quantum number is negative a half or positive a half, no matter what the ML is, right? Three orbitals times two options or electrons for each orbital, bam, six electrons. But you came for the three, and here it is. Welcome to the party and best of luck.